Imagine a time when the quaint streets of Delft bore witness to scenes of a foreign plague, a mysterious disease linked to bats, and fake news spreading through a frightened populace who are quarantined in their homes. I know this is an impossible to imagine reality, but you have to try. It's incredible where you can go in your imagination. Also, there's a vampire and 10,000 painted Hungarian rats and some copyright theft. This episode of Shite Guides is sponsored by the anti-mask, anti-5G, anti-refugee, far-right super patriots of La La Land. The plague, the plague. What are you doing here? The way that the deaths are being registered is a lie. Plandemic. COVID-19 is no threat to the vast majority of people. The big pharma. It is a hope. Freedom. Well, all that and more was going down in sleepy old Delft in 1979 when the certified genius Werner Herzog came to town and the city became the backdrop for one of the most influential horror movies of all time, Nosferatu. Last night I went to take a shot around half two Heard a rat a tapping on the glass of the bathroom Looked out the window like who the fuck is that dude? Werner Herzog's creepy freaky friend Nosferatu Werner Herzog is coming to town Werner Herzog is coming to town, Werner Herzog is coming to town. With a big gang of Germans, a big van of Berlin Murder, 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 burner, burner, burner So Let's take a stroll around and find out how one of history's most famous directors ends up getting attacked by the local farmers while he pushes a police car into a ditch. This is a story all about how the town of Delft turned upside down So park your arse I'm about to expound while creeping and peeping around So let's start this story from the start in your granny's kitchen. Aye, aye, aye. The next time you're over for a cup of tea, why not have a sneaky peep in our cupboard and you'll be sure to find a large stash of unused blue and white plates. They're called Delft. We're in Delft. Delft is known worldwide for its pottery, but it should be known for its robbery of intellectual property. Back in the 1600s, the Dutch were doing business with China, who had developed a porcelain tea set that was just lovely. But the price was too much for the Dutch. This was way back before international copyright laws, so the Dutch straight up stole the Chinese design and mass produced a cheaper version themselves, and they called it Delft. You gotta be a cheeky fucking boy to just straight up rob someone's intellectual property like that. But that's kind of the theme of this video. And so Delft began five centuries of copyright theft. You bastards. Nah, d nah, you're all right. Delft is all right. <laughs> In 1979, official madman Werner Herzog rocked up into town to shoot his famous movie about an overly erotic Romanian vampire. It was supposed to be based on the 1922 classic silent movie Nosferatu, which just so happens to be at the centre of one of history's most famous ever claims of copyright theft. In 1922, the revolutionary Nosferatu hit the screens in Germany and scared the shit out of everybody. It was based on the book Dracula by Irish author Bram Stoker, and everything would have been cool, but the cheeky cunts who made the movie didn't want to pay for the copyright. Bram Stoker had died, so the studio said, fuck it, be grand. They changed the names and tweaked the story a little bit to bypass the laws. It wasn't grand. Bram's widow, Florence, came at them like a bat out of Wuhan and brought the studio to court for financial restitution and demanded that every copy of the movie be destroyed. In 1925, she won the case and began a trail of vengeful destruction all around Europe, tracking down the movie reels and burning them all. But one single copy made its way across the sea to America, and the rest is history. Herzog considered the 1922 movie the greatest film to ever come out of Germany, and he'd been waiting to make his remake of the remake for years. But he didn't want to commit copyright theft because he's, he's not a bastard. A mad bastard, yeah. A regular bastard, no. 
This is a door to a house where a couple of the scenes were filmed. Here along the lovely street as well. If you don't believe me, I'll show you some, some clips, some copyrighted clips right about now. So, he waited years until the actual literal day that the copyright from the original Dracula book passed into the public domain before he began his remake of the remake. But with the original character names. Right? Dracula hasn't been well. well He's been locked up in his bedroom in his own prison cell We don't see him in town no, no more. more He don't seem to come around no, no more. more What happened to the fun guy Who used to like to get drunk in the sunshine Now you spend your whole life online I guess when you can't find Being confined for a long time That's like feeding a mogwai after midnight Nah kid, you're not alright Because you're up all night Talking shite on the alt-right side do you even know what you're doing, doing wrong? Proving I'm queuing on. I don't really know what the dude is on. My friend Dracula hasn't been well. My friend Dracula is an incel. Dracula wants to crack with child. You've been living on your own too long, man. You gotta come back to us, Dracula. We're worried about you, Dracula. Dracula wants to crack with child. You are arachnophobic tarantula. Come back to us, Dracula. What's the crack with you, Dracula? So, with everything in order, he came to Delft and began filming. Until he got contacted by the makers of the first movie, who were going to sue him for copyright theft. Essentially, he was going to be sued for copyright theft by the original cunts who got sued for copyright theft. The greatest copyright theft of the 20th century. So much copyright theft going on in Delft today. Ooh, copyright theft. Anyway, he told them to fuck off, which they did. And that was pretty much the end of the trouble, until the scene with the 10,000 rats. Hello. Hello, you have seen it. I speak all in English, sorry, my friend. My Netherlands is not so good. You got the scene. Have a nice time in Delft. I'm having a wonderful time. You have a beautiful day as well. Yeah, thank you very much. And uh, watch, uh, watch the movie Nosferatu when and you go home. Can I see that movie? Yeah, 1979, a Dracula movie. You'll see my movie, yeah, yeah. It's called The World's Shittest Travel Show. It's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Have a nice day. Fine, Nice to see you. And the same to you. Have a lovely day. Everybody's lovely down in Delft. Everybody's lovely. You have to keep in mind that not long before Delft had actually been occupied by a, a pretty fucking awful gang of Germans. So when, uh, when Herzog and his big German crew rocked up, there were certain tensions already. They had to let the locals know that there was going to be absolutely no funny business. So the funny business began. Werner needed even more access to the city than he'd been permitted, so he had to start taking to uh, illegal actions to film rogue scenes. Wow. Such as forging papers, picking locks, and he even broke in to the city hall trying to get uh, kind of fake permissions to film dodgy scenes. What a lad. You will see I will give the signal immediately because we shoot secretly and they do not know that we do it. So we are very calm, very quiet, and I give a secret signal to one man on the boat and then they start to work. I feel I really need to press the point about the locals having reservations about loads of Germans running around in the middle of the night with dodgy papers. It's, uh, it's really, not a, really not a good look around these parts. Have you ever been afraid you were gonna fail away Growing old and grey Entailed on your own mistakes All alone while your tail turns cold On a mountain in a castle in Romania All alone on your throne On a mountain in a castle in Romania 
Castle in Romania. Castle in Romania. Have you ever been afraid as you made your way to the dawn of the day? Be taken away to lay in the grave without ever having a taste of happiness. But what pissed everyone off was the rats. 10,000 rats to be precise. Delft had literally just gotten over a, a city-wide infestation of rats. And now there's a big group of Germans with dodgy papers looking to release 10,000 of the fuckers in the streets for a movie. All my films, maybe, if you have seen any, come out from pain. That's the source. That's where they come from. Not from pleasure. So he really needs those rats. Delft told him to get fucked. We've got a real life local here and he's going to tell us about the 10,000 rats that Herzog had yeah. going on. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm real life, yes. I'm he's a real life local. Not that, like the rats. <laughs> all those rats, they were, you know, they, 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 they ran away after it, but they were all white rats. They couldn't get brown rats, so they had to paint them. That was very ugly for the rats because, you know, they became ill of that. And at the end, they couldn't catch them all you know, so they, there was, for years, Jeez. there were a lot of rats in that neighborhood. 10,000 rats. 10,000 <laughs> rats, you know. So that, that actually happened. So th I heard there was, uh, I heard the mayor was giving out little rewards for people to bring in rats. And yeah. that children were I, taking school off for weeks afterwards. Yeah, I remember that. Oh my God, I man. didn't catch a rat. There's a rat in the kitchen I'm gonna do. Yeah, I wanted to be in, in a movie because I... I also have that terrible chains <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, man. I find it back. You might think Delft is a sleepy town, but you'll find out if you have a peep around that you're never by yourself when you're in Delft. Never by yourself in Delft. There's lots of friendly crowds just waiting for you to come around. Cause you're never by yourself when you're in Delft. Never by yourself in Delft. Pete, Pete, my friend Pete. He's the kind of guy that you want to meet in the street. Cause you're never by yourself when you're in Delft. With my friend Pete, P I E T. Pete, Pete, my friend Pete. So sweet, he's a real treat to meet in the street. Cause you're never by yourself. When you're in depth with my friend Pete. That's Pete. Unfortunately, our buddy Pete was right about those rats. Uh, Werner could only get white lab rats from Hungary, so before filming, he went to a local farmer and they ended up inventing some crazy machine to paint all 10,000 rats at once. It was apparently the opposite of safe, and thousands of rats burned to death in the mad contraption. The city of Delft knew this Werner fellow was bad news, and they did not want any more massacres in their town. Have you ever been afraid you were gonna be kidnapped by a German director and taken to a farm in Holland and then painted against your will? So they had to keep the rats in a farm outside the town and there was an arrangement with the farmers to keep and feed the rats until other arrangements could be made. All perfectly reasonable, yeah? But it all went tits up when the money disappeared and then the farmers said they were going to keep all of the rats until they got paid. So now the entire production of the movie is being held up while 10,000 painted rats are being held hostage. Oh. So Werner did what any respectable director would do. He tried to break into the farm to jailbreak his 10,000 furry extras and ended up getting into a physical, mechanised battle with the fucking farmers. One of the farmers ends up jumping into a caterpillar track and ramming it into the crew's production truck. Next thing the cops roll up, blockade the entire area. Herzog and the boys end up pushing the cop car into a ditch and then getting the fuck out of Dodge. Some lads. <laughs> The filming continued in Delft, but the scene with the rats had to be done in the nearby town of Schriedam. 
Now, I haven't been to Shkhidam, but you have to wonder what kind of town will be like, yeah, come on down, destroy our city center with your 10,000 rats. Which is exactly what happened. So the circus eventually rolled out of town. The film was released and it is an absolute belter of a flick. I downloaded it off Pirate Bay, well worth the peep. Ooh, copyright theft. I was going to go down to Shkidam for this video, but I decided against it. Apparently the entire town is overrun with rats. So I guess the moral of the story is, watch Nosferatu, check out Delft, and visit your granny. That's the end of the video. If you even try to download it, my uncle is an internet lawyer and I will sue you for copyright theft. I like the music, man. Lovely.